What's up guys, it's Ashley and today we're going to rank the top 9 Assassin's Creed characters that have defined this franchise. Why 9 you may ask? Well because sometimes 10 is just too mainstream and we're all about breaking the norm here. So fasten your seatbelts, sharpen your hidden blades, and let's leap of faith right through the ages of Assassin's Creed. Alright let's kick things off. At number 9 we have Eivor. The Viking warrior who pillaged and plundered their way through England during the Dark Ages, Eivor was the ultimate Nordic badass. You could play as either male or female, but either way, they had the beard of a true legend. Their strengths? They could command a crew of Vikings, engage in brutal shield wall combat, and commune with the gods through the power of hallucinogenic mushrooms. Plus, they knew how to throw a proper feast, because every good assassin needs to know how to party like it's 873 AD. Now, swinging in at number 8, we have Arno Dorian. The dashing Frenchman with the charm of a thousand baguettes, Arno was the star of the French Revolution. His strengths? He had a keen sense of perception, which allowed him to see through the chaos of the revolution like a psychic detective. Plus, he had a wardrobe that would make even the most fashionable Parisian weep with envy. And let's not forget his fantastic taste in wine. It's no wonder he knew how to throw a killer party, pun intended. Moving along, at number 7, we have a character that may not have had the spotlight but sure did leave a lasting impression. Connor Kenway, the half-Native American, half-British assassin from the American Revolution, Connor fought for freedom while sporting a sweet mohawk. His strengths? He could blend in with the wilderness, climb trees like a squirrel, and wield a tomahawk like it was an extension of his arm. Plus, he taught us that it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion in the ocean of redcoats you just sank. At the lucky number 6, guess who we've got? Evie and Jacob Fry, the dynamic Victorian duo from London, these sibling assassins were like the Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson of the Brotherhood. Their strengths? Evie was a stealthy strategist, while Jacob was the brawler who'd kick your teeth in with a smile. Together, they showed us that blood is thicker than water, especially when you're drowning Templars in the River Thames. We're halfway through our list, and at number 5, we've got the assassin who's no stranger to danger. Altair. The original hooded hero, he was the guy who started it all. This medieval Syrian assassin had a no-nonsense approach to, well, everything. His strengths? He was a master of stealth, swordsmanship, and climbing impossible structures. Plus, he was so dedicated to his cause, he literally wrote the book on being an assassin. Coming in at number 4, we have our next assassin who has a knack for doing things a little differently. Edward Kenway, the pirate turned assassin who taught us that you can't judge a guy by his eye patch. This swashbuckling Welshman's strengths? He could sail the high seas, command a crew of scallywags, and he even had his own private island. Plus, he had a wicked sense of humor, which is always a bonus when you're plundering ships and stabbing Templars. At number 3, we've got a true survivor, the one who's seen it all and lived to tell the tale. Cassandra or Alexios, the Spartan siblings from ancient Greece were like the yin and yang of stabbing people, you could play as either but let's face it, Cassandra was the real MVP. Their strengths? They had superhuman abilities thanks to that shiny Isu spear, and they could hold their own in a debate with Socrates. Plus, they were the ultimate Greek tourism guides, showing us the best places to visit in the Mediterranean. We're almost at the top folks, at number 2 we have the character whose journey has been nothing short of epic. Bayek of Siwa, picture this, ancient Egypt, sand dunes as far as the eye can see, and this badass Medjai warrior emerges like a mirage. Bayek was the Og assassin who set the foundation for the Brotherhood. But what about his strengths? He could tame wild animals, talk to the gods, well, not really, but he had some sick visions. And he was so stealthy he could sneak up on a crocodile without breaking a sweat. And finally, at the coveted number one spot, we have the ultimate assassin. The one who truly embodies the spirit of the creed. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. The smooth Italian stallion from the Renaissance era. This guy was the godfather of assassins. Ezio was so suave he could charm the robes off a nun. His strengths you ask? The dude had the best fashion sense of any assassin in history and he could parkour like a boss. Plus, let's not forget his arsenal of hidden blades, a flying machine, and the way he turned every single Italian city into his own personal playground. Now I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes thinking, Ashley, you miss my favorite character. Well guess what? That's exactly what the comment section is for. We want to hear who you think is the coolest AC protagonist, the one that made you leap off your seat, the one whose stealth moves you still can't replicate, or maybe the one whose story just made you shed a tear or two. 